Hi, welcome to Pi Simple GUI 2020, lesson zero for impatient people. Pi Simple GUI is a graphical UI framework that is different from the other GUI frameworks because it uses message passing instead of being event driven. There are five sections to your typical Pi Simple GUI program. Use the naming conventions that you'll see here so your code will match the documentation's examples. The first section is the import. Simply type import Pi Simple GUI as SG. The second section is the layout. Break your GUI window into rows. Each row will be represented as a list. Your layout represents your entire window and is a list of these rows. In this example, we have three rows and on each row are elements. In PySimple GUI, elements are the same as widgets. The first one is called a text element and it reads enter something. The next one is an input element. We're going to use a parameter called a key, which is just like a dictionary key. It's used to identify the element. This text element says our output will go here. Finally, the third row has two. One says OK and the other one says exit. A button's text is its key. The third section is where we will create the window. Our example is a simple window with the title as the first parameter and layout the second. The fourth section is your event loop. Event loops are normally within the GUI framework. With PySimple GUI, the event loop is in your code. When you read a window, it waits until something happens to your window. An event is generated like a button gets clicked or the window gets closed. So if you want to test and see if the window is closed, the event that's returned is none. And in this case, we also want to see if they click the exit button. If so, the event will be exit, and we want to break out of our event loop if that happens. What this program does is whenever you input something here and click OK, then it will output it to this location. We don't need to check for the OK button because that's the only thing that could be executed at this point. In order to output to this window, we are going to update the text element. To do this, we look up the element using its key and then call the update method for that element. To look up the element, we use our window object and perform what appears to be a dictionary lookup, written like this, window, key. The key to be found goes in the brackets. Then you call the update method by adding dot .update onto the found element. Every element has a slightly different update method. The first parameter is generally the value that you want to change it to. Look at the documentation to understand all of the parameters available in each update call. For this text element, the first parameter is the new value. We want to update it with the value that is input. The way we find the input value is by using the values variables. It's a dictionary and we use the key to locate the value. That is it for our event loop. The final thing we will do is to close the window after exiting the loop. Let's run this program and enter something into the input. When we do, it outputs the input to the window. If we hit exit, then it breaks out of the loop and closes the window. Thank you for watching.